Fish Tank Diaries. Today is Saturday, July the 16th, 2016. This is the Aquaon 180. It is day 58 since we set up this tank, so just shy of two months. As you can see, we have that gorgeous unicorn tang. It's a Nassau unicorn. It's and you can see a powder blue tang in there. That gorgeous specimen was introduced yesterday and so was that powder brown that you see on top. With the population you see here, I declare the tank finished. Save a few tweaks here and there. I'm not certain about the future of those Misbar clown clowns in here because they seem to hang on the top of the water over here all the time. Right now I'm catching them swimming about, which is nice, but for the most part they are on top over there all the time. Now, my challenge right now is the lieutenant tank. That lieutenant tank is an absolute bastard. You will be able to appreciate here on this video how he gives chase specifically to the brown, to the powder brown tank. He also chases the powder blue, but not with the same interest as he does the the powder brown. So you take a look at the powder brown there on top, hiding from the lieutenant. He was able to avoid him right there. He has kind of created a route, a little path to keep her out of harm's way, but this, this lieutenant tank is truly a monster. I mean, take a look at his body shape. He is really uh, like a Soho or a clown tang without the markings. I have enjoyed him enormously, but every single time, sorry about the phone, it's, I'm, I'm looking at the behavior and I'm trying to record at the same time, but every single time that I introduce a new specimen in here, he is the problem. He is incredibly aggressive. Take a look at him changing his color to almost black. He's a bastard. I love him and I hate him at the same time. I wish I could net him right now and put him in a quarantine tank and just let him be there for a couple of weeks, let the, the, the two powder tanks settle in here and establish themselves and then bring that asshole and then let him deal with two established powder tanks. I would love to see them chase these asshole fish and tell them payback's a bitch, ain't it? Asshole. Other than that, um, the tank is really magnificent. The collection of fish here is unbelievable. We got an FX6 fluval canister filter. We got two aqua clear tents. We got two power heads moving water to the tune of about 1500 gallons an hour each. We got a 450 watt heater and the reason I give you a listing of the equipment is because I do intend to add another canister filter and a skimmer, uh, a smaller skimmer uh, hang over the back type deal. Uh, there is also a 40 watt UV sterilizer already in place.